Hi guys! Welcome back. If you couldn't tell by a title of this video, it's a really big Korean beauty haul. I was in Korea last month visiting a friend and I may have bought a little too much makeup, but you know what? It's all good. I love makeup and I was kind of worried when I was coming back because one whole side of my suitcase was just makeup and I don't know how but it wasn't overweight thank the gods so I hope you enjoy seeing all this makeup I've got it's quite a bit okay so start off I was going to do you know a regular makeup but as I was putting everything in by brand I came to realize I bought a lot from Etude House I don't know if you can see it and I didn't realize I had bought that much until I was putting it all together and I was like damn I have a lot from Etude House so the first thing on my list of what I bought from Etude House is my all-time favorite eyeliner it's the drawing show brush liner and as you can see I bought three of them I don't know what it is really about this but this literally lasts me six, seven months, and it looks just like any other, you know, eyeliner. It's just, I don't know why. I just decided, you know, this is my favorite liner, and it just goes on so easily, and it stays on. It doesn't smudge by the end of the day. The second thing I bought was this lip gloss it's not really lip gloss it's like a liquid lip but it doesn't matte is actually what I've got on right now and I originally just bought one but I thought I lost it so and I got really mad so I went and bought another one and you know when you think you lose something and you go and you buy a replacement you find the one that you thought you lost so I ended up coming home with two but I actually really like this brand like this color and it smells really good like this is the packaging it look it literally looks like a lipstick and then when you pull it out this is the color of it it's got a really short wand but when you put it on it goes on really like smoothly and it stays on it's one of those that is like long lasting and it doesn't dry out your lips this third thing i bought from Etude house was actually a lipstick it's the dear my wish lips talk i don't know if you can see it because of the glare but it's got this cute little pink packaging and then this is the actual lipstick isn't that cute this is actually my second lipstick I have from Etude House, the first one I bought by accident on YesStyle, but when you open it, it's this beautiful like coral orange color, and it doesn't feel like a regular lipstick I came to find out. This is another thing I picked up, it's the Tint My Brows Gel in brown. Now. I'm not gonna lie, I am actually kind of scared to try this because I don't know if y'all can tell but my brows are kind of all over the place. But I've heard a lot of like good reviews on it and I bought it so I could try it out. I'll probably try it out when I run out of filler for my brows but my friend in Korea actually had this and she did it a couple times and her brows looked insane when she put it on because this it's kind of like a tint well it is a tinter it just you put it on and leave it on for two hours and then it's like a face peel you peel it off and you get color in your brows another thing I bought is I bought two Dear Girls packs. One's for oil control. It's just like a white, kind of like a finishing powder that you'd put on after you put all your makeup on. And this one is the Dear Girls Be Clear pack. 
It's kind of like a pinkish like skin color. I use this on a daily basis. I put it on in the morning, usually after my makeup, like my BB cream and powder. Just kind of like a setting powder. And then I carry it around with me all day and I just, you know, use it for touch-ups. And this is actually really good to use during throughout the day. It's something it's like a quick go-to without having to, you know, wipe everything off, redo it. And you don't have to carry around, like, another powder because you can put this on on top of it. The, I guess these two are kind of, like, the same. It's just one's white, and then this is, like, a skin tone color that matches my skin. And then I couldn't go to Etude House without getting a BB cream cushion. This is the Precious Mineral Any Cushion, and it's in shade Light Beige, which actually matches my skin tone. And as you know, it comes with a mirror, it comes with its little cushion, and then you get that. Now, I carry this around with me all day too, because it's an easy fix for my nose, because my nose actually gets... A little oily throughout the day so I just use it for you know touch-ups and it does have a perfume smell to it but it's not that bad and the best thing about this is when it's done at the end of the, like when you run out you can replace it I think well I this is my second one I actually have from Etude House the other one I had was a dancing swan the packaging was pink and it was so pretty and you could just pop them out and you know get another cushion put it in you're good to go and last but not least i went and picked up a like eye mask kit and this is the 24k gold therapy gold hydrogel eye patch I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this is the box it comes in. And like I said, if it has kind of cute packaging, I'm already sold. When you open it, you get this cute little spatula to pull out the eye patches. Now, this is a little bit on the expensive side, but I do get bags under my eyes because I'm a college student and I don't sleep. Okay, so the next store I went to, um, it's called Skin Food. I think we have one in California, but it, there's none where I live. And I didn't get that much from Skin Food, but whenever I do go to Skin Food, I always end up getting a lot of face masks. Now, I got all of these, and they range from, like... There's watermelon, there's green tea, caviar, aloe, and black bean. Like I said, when I go to skin food, I get a lot of face masks. I, besides the like sheet mask that you put on, I got the black sesame hot mask. And I have actually tried this, you know, a long time ago when my friend bought it. And... It's one of those masks where you put it on, it starts heating up, and you can feel the heat, like, all over. And you just put this on, and then you leave it on for three to five minutes, and then you wash it off. And your skin feels soft. Like, I know I say that a lot of, about a lot of these products. Oh, it makes my face so soft, but it really does. And I haven't really found any American American products that really do that and the other mask I bought is the strawberry black sugar mask wash off now I'm actually looking forward to trying this one because I like strawberries the third brand that I went to is Innisfree and I do really like their stuff I would have bought a lot more but Every single one that I went into, and they're, they're all over the place in Seoul, like Myeongdong, everywhere. 
Um, it was always super packed, like, to the point where you couldn't move forward very long. So, I just got what I needed that I was really looking for, and then I bounced. Now, I had this one last year when I was traveling. It's the Innisfree Sea Salt Perfect Cleanser, a uh, facial cleanser. And... I was really upset because I bought it in Korea last year and then I went back to Japan to visit some more friends and it got lost and I couldn't find it in any of the Innis well I don't know if Innisfree was actually in Japan now that I think about it but I was really upset because like everything else I've said this makes your skin really soft. Another thing I had to buy while I was there and I used this already on a daily basis it's the green tea seed serum um it's just something i put on after you know i've put lotion and toner and everything else it's this little cute little bottle i should have bought another bottle of this because this probably won't last me very long i got another like cleanser for your face from innisfree this is the Jeju Volcanic Pore Cleansing Foam. It comes in a little thing like this. I have not tried this one yet, but I am excited. It's a sheet mask. This is the It's Real Squeeze Mask in Rose. And, you know, it's just like a sheet mask you put on. Leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes and you take it off and then pat in the excess. The next stop on my list of every makeup store in Korea is Holika Holika. Now, I just went into the store to see what it's about. I never have really gotten anything from Holika Holika that I could think about. But this lady was like, oh, you know, take a look around. You'll find something that you really like. And I did find some stuff I really liked. Like these two things. Aren't they adorable? They are the uh, Gude Tama. I'm so sorry if I butchered that. But this is a sheet mask that's in the side, or that looks like this character. I can't wait to try this out because I do. I have a couple masks that are kind of like characterized, but I haven't had a chance to try them out yet. So I'm really excited about this one. And then I also got a Gude Tama. Smooth Egg Peeling Gel. It's like a peeler. Oh, that sounds kind of weird. But look at this packaging. Like I said, if it's a cute package, I'm gonna buy it. Another thing I bought that I absolutely love, and I'm so mad that I didn't go and buy another one of these, is a Transformer Mascara. Now, it looks like a regular mascara wand, right? Well, it's not. This has two settings. You can do long, like that, or you can twist this part right here, and then it goes down, and you can do volume. And I actually got talked into this by one of the sales ladies because my mascara that I was wearing always ends up smudging on my bottom line. And she was telling me that this is long wearing and it won't, you know, it won't create or it won't build up at the bottom and make you look like a panda. So I put this to the test. I bought it and then we went out on the town on a Friday night, put this on and we were out from like midnight to 8 a.m. Come home and it, it lasted. I had no clumps, I had no buildup at the bottom of my lash lines. This is a lifesaver. I use this on a daily basis now and I'm in love. I really, really wish I would have bought more of these. Another thing I bought is hand cream. Now I'm a person that really doesn't like lotion because I don't know, I don't like how it feels on my hands. but. I've slowly started using it because my hands get really dry during the winter. Sometimes during the summer, it's just kind of weird. But this is the 
the moment rainy rose tree perfumed hand cream and it's got a cute little package and it's small and compatible that you can you know take it on the go with you now I only use maybe about that much the final thing I got from Holika Holika was some sunscreen now I did go to I went to a company called Benilico and I kind of wish I would have bought more from there. So this is the Vanilla Co. Lip T Moist Soul Tint in, li in Liquor. Liqueur? Liqueur? Whatever. I can't pronounce words if you can't tell. But surprise, surprise, cute packaging. And then look at this. It says I Heart Soul. And I really do. But it's kind of like a lip gloss lip tint it's got a long wand on it and ooh, it's kind of like a orangey color it's perfect for summer but I just bought this because I was really running out of like lip glosses and I usually don't wear lip glosses I wear more like lipstick kind of things but this one is actually really nice and then, like I said, I bought a lipstick from Vanilla Co. And, surprise, it's a cute package, so I was already sold. And then, look at this. It looks so cute and so springy and summery. How can you not buy it, right? And then, this is what it looks like. It's more of like a reddish. It looks red. And then when you put it on, it's kind of like a pinkish color okay so another stop I made and I mainly went in there as a joke to get something for my friend it's a store called Nature Republic um I just went in because I was drawn to like all the nature kind of things I really like nature and the things I bought okay so at the time that I was at Nature Republic they were doing like a exo thing and the first thing I bought is like lip balms and this is Kai and this is Suho and this is actually for a friend of mine back in the states and this is kind of like a clear color and this is kind of like a pinkish orange I did have a Dio version and that's the character my friend really likes and it's a, the same color as Kai I was actually a little disappointed that they all didn't have like their own specific color it was like two were orange two were clear two were pink and I think two were purple I don't know there's a, there's a lot of members in EXO but this is a little tube it comes in and it does have like his little signature on the side I don't know if you can really see that and then when you pull it off it's kind of like a it's like an orange tint but I was actually like hella surprised when I used this it is very, very hydrating. And another EXO product I bought from Nature Republic is the hand cream. Now, I did buy two Dio's because I couldn't find a Kai version. And it's very moisturizing. I was very surprised. It's shea butter hand cream. So, shea butter is really moisturizing. And... I was actually like surprised when I opened this because I thought oh it's a huge package you're only gonna get one no you get two and they have their cute little faces on it this is the face on the lip balm for Dio that I got my friend so I thought it was hilarious that they had this when I told her I was like hey I got you something I hope you like it and she was She's kind of weary when I buy her things that she doesn't know about. So she was like, oh lord, what'd you get me? And then I was like, here, you get Dio. And she just started laughing at me. Oh, and another thing. These um, hand creams, they come with a cute little EXO member card of whichever one you buy. So my friend got this with the hand creams and she got a cute little card to go with it with his signature on it of course but these are also 
small enough to be portable in your purse or your bag or whatever you use and you get two of them so when you run out of one you have a backup for something not exo themed that i got from nature republic is cleansing wipes and these are the hawaiian deep sea cleansing tissue now i'm not really a big person to use these at the end of the night but you know sometimes at the end of a day or at the end of a night out when you get home you're just so tired that you don't really want to go through your whole routine of wiping off your makeup and everything so i only use these as a quick fix or not really a quick fix but like a quick cleanup and i just wipe all my makeup off and go to sleep 